Okay, go. Good morning, my name is Sue and I'm your garden guru from Garden Shop and today we are going to show you how to make your own water feature. Now first of all you need to know what you need. You need a reservoir and we've got this container over here. You can use any type of pot that you like. Just make sure that if the pot's got a hole in it that it is sealed. Then we also have um, a rain gauge meter stick that we're going to use to elevate our output from and then we've got this watering can over here which is going to be our outlet then we've also got some clear tubing Bethel can you just show us that clear tubing there we've got some clear tubing and then we've also got some angles that we're going to use to make our pipe functional right so let's get started. First of all, we are going to make sure that your reservoir, which needs to be watertight, is level. And we've leveled this guy nicely over here. So that is done. Next thing, we're going to put in our stick there so that we've got a point of elevation. And we're going to attach a watering can to the stick. Now you'll see that I'm facing the spout to this side over here. We also need a pump and we've got a 1200 litre pump here. And we've already started to connect the pumps outlets here. And this is going to go right over the pump here. This is a 20 millimeter pipe and a 1200 litre pump and we're going to place our pump down there so our water is going to go through this pipe here all the way up and then Elton can you just connect that last piece of pipe for us there Oh, just push it in nicely. If you struggle to get the pipe over, you can also use some boiling water. That would make the pipe softer. So we've got our pipe going into our watering can here. Just swivel it in nicely. Radio. Okay, Alton, if you could just make sure that that is done there. Now they're going to bring this into the side. Otherwise it's going to bend and then the water's not going to go out. Right, so Elton is fastening it nicely there. So you can see we've got our pump. The water is going to come from this reservoir through the pipe up here into our watering can and then it's going to fall back into our reservoir here. Right, that all done neat and tidy. We're cutting that off and we've brought a pot along just to elevate some of the plants that we're now going to put inside. Alton, if you could give me the tall teapot please. And now we're going to add some water plants here to our water feature. These are all plants that can grow in water. And we've got a papyrus here, we've got an arum lily, and we've got a philodendron. Great stuff. That makes quite a nice little feature. And next thing, we're going to fill up our container here. So we're filling up quite nicely here with water. And you've got to always make sure that your pump is 100% submerged. Otherwise, it is going to burn out the motor of the pump. A submersible pump is a pump that sits under the water and the water actually helps to cool the pump. Um, Bethel, you can go there to the plug side for us. We've already plugged in our pump here on this side. And once we've got enough water in here, we are going to start the motor. Are you ready there? And there we go. 
You can have a maneuver up, both in can a little bit. Make the flow a bit better. Right. And Alvin, then you can just tighten it here for us with a cable tight. Make sure it doesn't move. That's nice and sturdy. Just cut off that edge there for us. We try to minimize everything that you see in the mechanism of the water feature. So, I think that's more or less it. Let's get this hose pipe this side. And there you go. One water feature done in no time. Thank you very much. This is Bethel and Alton and I'm Sue and I'm your garden guru from Garden Shop. Thank you very much.